Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
Come on, stage. One, two.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's speak in tongues for a few seconds. Makra brazi tiki broja, lingra tiki broja taki braka deke ba, mani kraso taki braka deke ba, santa ki braka deke ba. Oh, good, good evening, Holy Spirit. We adore you. Li broja taka braka santa, para kraso taki braka deke ba, zereish kalara ki braka deke ba santa, para kra braka santa. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I would like to take this time to thank our dear men of God, Pastor Lawrence, for affording me this time to lead the saints in prayer, those that are on site and online. Hallelujah. And greetings to the pastors, uh, deaconry leaders, and uh, all the saints in the house. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, we are swimming in grace, in glory this week. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's a good time uh, that we are ushered in this uh, magnificent um, experience. Hallelujah. Um, we are going to pray in line with the scripture. Isaiah chapter uh, 2 verse 2. It says, And it shall come to pass in the last days, that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. Hallelujah. We are going to pray fervently in tongues of the spirit and also pray especially for the leaders of our country, our province and our city. Hallelujah. We heard yesterday the powerful testimony um, by our dear men of God, um, a reference, the most uh, referent, hallelujah, about the king in, uh, in KZN. Hallelujah. This is what should be happening. Hallelujah. As we pray, this will happen. Hallelujah. Let's open our mouth and pray. Roja taka bra zita ka bra kaleke bo santa link roja taki bra kaleke ba ala kraso taki bra kaleke ba santa ki bra kaleke ba zereish ka ka bra zete link roja taki bra kaleke ba santa ki bra kaleke ba ala kroza taka bra kaleke ba santa ki bra kaleke ba zengre so taki bra kaleke ba santa ki bra kaleke ba santa rekeja rekeja li katuske link roja ta ki bra kaleke ba santa ki bra kaleke ba santa le re bro za ta ki bra kaleke ba santa ara krasota lord we are grateful for our country oh god ling ra bra ka santa ki bra kaleke ba santa oh the leadership in our country ling krasota ki bra kaleke ba the president the the ministers the mecs oh god in the name of the lord jesus christ your wisdom is working mightily in them oh god God, ling ra bra ka santa ki bra ka leke ba santa. Oh, kra bra ka sente. Oh, we declare peace of Christ, oh God, in these days, oh Father. Ling ra sota ki bra ka leke ba santa. Le krosa ta ka bra ka leke ba santa ki bra ka leke ba. Alang ra sota ki bra ka leke ba. Oh, the tribe and tongues of God shall worship you, oh Father. Ling ra sota ki bra ka leke ba. We proclaim salvation, oh God. In the leadership of this country, Linda Rabraka Santa Kibra Kalekaba, Linda Rebrosa, Maran Krasota Kibra Kalekaba, Serekreja Linkra Sota, Marie Krabra Kalekaba, Secre Broja, Linkra Braka Santa Kibra Kalekaba, Alla Keja Lika Tushke, Serej Kakabra Kalekaba, Alangra Sota, oh, thank you, Lord, for our city. Pretoria, oh God, Lingra Santa Kibra Kalekaba, you have given it to it to us, oh God, Lingra Santa Kibra Kalekaba, oh to preach this gospel, oh God, oh Maracra Santa, to bring many into salvation, Lingra Branca Lekaba Santa, Lingra Santa Cabra Kalekaba, any other plans of the devil, oh God, Lingra Santa Kibra Kalekaba, oh we destroy those plans. We cut them off, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Link up, Brakalekaba Santa. Oh, Krasota Ki, Brakalekaba. Mareja Tukalika, Brakalekaba Santa. Zekre Broja, Malan Krasota Ki, Brakalekaba. Every office is of God. Oh, Mara Krasota. Oh, your word. Oh, Krasota. 
the message of salvation of God is penetrating in those offices. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, oh, this country is a beautiful country. Oh, Marakrasota, you have authority over it, oh God. The devil, Satan, has no authority. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Oh Lord, we are grateful. We are grateful for South Africa. Oh Maracra Sota Ki Braka Lekeba. Sheren Graza. Oh Krabraka Santa. Oh Nikra Sota. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, this country, oh God. You have given it to us. It's a beautiful country. You have authority over it, oh Father. Oh Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. We worship you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray for tonight's service. That everyone present online or on site will not leave the sev uh, this service the same, the same way we, uh, they came. We declare that uh, there is a word for each one of us tonight, hallelujah, and our spirits are open and ready to receive that word into our spirits, hallelujah. Let's let's thank God for this service. Makaba Santa, Makaba Santa, Makaba Santa, Zekreja Tukalika Braka de Keba. Oh, we are receiving much today, oh God. Lingra Santa Ki Braka de Keba. There's a word for each and every one of us here, oh God. Marangra Sota Ki Braka de Keba. Every item of the program, oh God. Linda Braka Santa Ki Braka de Keba. Oh, we are changed, oh God. Linda Braka Santa. Oh, we are totally different, oh God. We are not the same as, we will not be the same as we came, oh God. Even those that are connected, oh God. Marangra Sotaha. Oh, Shekroza Takabraka Lekebaha. New destinies are changed, oh God, tonight. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jerekreja, Jerekreja Likatushke. Zingra Braka Lekeba Santa. Oh, we are receiving today, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for our dear men of God. Lean Grabrasta Lorenzo God. Lean the Rabraka Santa Kibra Kalekeba. As his ministering of God. Lean Grasanta. Oh, the message of God. The way that is uh, will be preaching of God will not come in vain of God. Lean Grabraka Lekeba Santa. Zerekreja. Zerekreja Lika Tuske. Oh, Maracra Braka Lekeba. Oh, Father Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. We worship you, O Lord. Oh, our lives, O oh God. They are changed, O oh God. Oh, destinies are altered tonight. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There are solutions, O oh God, to all the challenges, O oh God. Oh, there are answers, O oh God. Oh, Maracra Sota. To those questions, O oh Father. Oh, those pains, O oh God. They have been dealt with, O oh God. In tonight's service, O oh God. Maracra Sota. Oh, Father Lord, we thank you. We glorify your Holy Holy name, Marisa Takabra Kalekeba. Oh, Father Lord, we thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We worship you in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let me take this time again to thank our dear man God for this moment. Glory to God. And enjoy the service. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'd like to take this time to thank my man of God and Zonal Pastor, Pastor Lawrence, for the opportunity to minister the scripture and read announcements this evening. Hallelujah. And greetings to the beautiful people of the beloved country. Hallelujah. In a year of redemption and a month of intercession. I will be sharing with you from Leviticus chapter 22, verse 1 to 33. And greeting to those online as well. 
Welcome to service. Leviticus chapter 22. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and to his sons, and, this, and that they separate themselves from the holy things of the children of Israel, and that they profane not my holy name in those things which they hallow unto me. I am the Lord. Say unto them, Whatsoever he be of all your seed among your generations, that goeth unto the holy things, which the children of Israel hallow unto the Lord, having his uncleanness upon him, that soul shall be cut off from my presence. I am the Lord. What man soever of the seed of Aaron is a leper or hath a running issue, he shall not eat of the holy things until he be clean. And whoso touches anything that is unclean by the dead or a man whose seed goeth from him, or whosoever touches any creeping thing whereby he may be made unclean, or a man of whom he may take uncleanness, whatsoever uncleanness he hath, the soul which hath touched any such shall be unclean until even, and shall not eat of the holy things unless he wash his flesh with water. And when the sun is down, he shall be clean, and shall afterwards eat of the holy things because it is his food. That which dieth of itself or is torn with beasts, he shall not eat to defile himself therewith. I am the Lord. They shall therefore keep mine ordinance, lest they bear sin for it, and die therefore, if they profane it. I, the Lord, do sanctify them. There shall no stranger eat of the holy thing, a sojourner or of the priests, or a hired servant shall not eat of the holy thing. But if the priest, by any soul with his money, he shall eat of it. And he that is born in his house, they shall eat of his meat. If the priest's daughter also be married unto a stranger, she may not eat of an offering of the holy things. But if the priest's daughter be a widow or divorced and have no child, and is returned unto her father's house as in her youth, she shall eat of her father's meat, but there shall no stranger eat thereof. And if a man eat of the holy thing unwittingly, then he shall put the fifth part thereof unto it, and shall give it unto the priest with the holy thing. And they shall not profane the holy things of the children of Israel, which they offer unto the Lord. Or suffer them to bear the iniquity of trespass, when they eat their holy things, for I, the Lord, do sanctify them. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and to his sons, and unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, Whatsoever he be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers in Israel, that will offer his oblation for all his vows, and for all his free will free will offerings, which they will offer unto the Lord for a burnt offering. He shall offer at your own will a male without blemish or the beefs of the sheep or of the goats. But whatsoever hath a blemish, that shall he not offer, for it shall not be acceptable for you. And whatsoever offereth a sacrifice of peace offering unto the Lord, to accomplish his vow or a free will offering in beeves or sheep, it shall be perfect to be, to be accepted. There shall be no blemish therein. Blind or broken or maimed or having a wen or scurvy or scapped, ye shall not offer these unto the Lord, nor make an offering by fire of, of them unto the alt upon the altar unto the Lord. Either 
bullock, either a bullock or a lamb that has anything surplus or lacking in his parts, that may us now offer for a free will offering, but for a vow it shall not be accepted. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It shall not be accepted. Ye shall not offer unto the Lord that which is bruised or crushed or broken or cut. Neither shall ye make any offerings thereof in your land. Neither from a stranger's hand shall ye offer the bread of your God of any of these, because their corruption is in them and blemishes be in them. They shall not be accepted for you. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, When a bullock or a sheep or a goat is brought forth, then it shall be seven days under the dam, and from the eighth day and thenceforth it shall be accepted for an offering, made by fire unto the Lord. And whether it be a cow or ewe, he, ye shall not kill it and her youth both in one day. And ye will offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving unto the Lord. Offer it at your own will. On the same day it shall be eaten up. Ye shall leave none of it until the morrow. I am the Lord. Therefore shall ye keep my commandments and do them. I am the Lord. Neither shall ye profane my holy name, but I will be hallowed among the children of Israel. I am the Lord which hallow you, that brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Pastor, again for the opportunity to do announcements this evening. Rhapsody of Realities announcement. Rhapsody Redemption Mission to Vietnam. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are taking the message of redemption to the nation and people of Vietnam. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. From Pretoria to Vietnam. Hallelujah. Let your seed speak for you and give extravagantly towards the salvation of many Vietnamese. You can start redeeming your pledges by using the Rhapsody APSA Bank banking details. I think they can also show the banking details on the screen. Now displayed on the screen. Sponsor the Rhapsody Language Redemption Mission to Vietnam today. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 2 Corinthians 9, 13, 15 in the Passion Translation say, For as your extremely ge generous offering meets the approval of those in Jerusalem, it will cause them to give glory to God, all because of your loyal support and allegiance to the gospel of Christ, as well as your generous hearted partnership with them towards those in need. Because of this extraordinary grace, which God has lavished on you, they will affectionately remember you in their prayers. Praise God for his astonishing gift, which is far too great for words. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So make up your mind to be part of giving towards this Rhapsody Redemption Mission to Vietnam. Hallelujah. From Pretoria to Vietnam. Say from Pretoria to Vietnam. Glory. Say yes to kids' campaign sponsorship towards Rhapsody of Realities is still on. Take advantage of today's partnership. So take advantage of your partnership. Be part of giving towards the Yes Kids campaign and also encourage your children to partner. Hallelujah. With the Rhapsody of Realities. World Evangelist Program with the highly esteemed Reverend Tom. Uh, world Evangelism Program with the highly esteemed Reverend Tom. Glory. Glory. Praise the Lord. We started yesterday. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our much anticipated program with a member of our CC of our ministry, our highly esteemed most Reverend Tom and Mekinen is here. We will continue tomorrow. This is the 11th 
hallelujah, until Sunday the 15th of April 2024. The schedule is as follows. Tomorrow is Thursday. Thursday and Friday the 12th, we have the Harvesters Con Congress with the highly esteemed Most Reverend Tom at 6 p.m. Hallelujah. We are starting at 6 p.m. On Saturday the 13th is Soul Winners Live. So that means we'll be going out to souls. We'll also be following up on all the souls that we gave the invitation cards to. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This church on Sunday is going to be packed and overflow. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And on Sunday the 14th, we have Sunday Extra with the highly esteemed Reverend Tom. And our service will be starting. We have a prayer service from 8 to 9. And service will be starting at 9. Hallelujah. Kindly plan towards this program. Clear your schedule and take advantage of it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is a special visitation and we have to take advantage of it. Birthday celebration unit, you are kindly requested to give your birthday dates to the birthday committee so that you can be celebrated in church. You may kindly contact Dickeness Yolanda on 082-899-1153 082-899-1153. Pastoral Fellowship Care Center, a call for cell leadership. If you are in church and graduated from foundation school or currently in class and would like to be a cell leader, kindly contact Dickens Jane on 063-577-1427, 063-577-1427. Or visit the PFC stand at the close of service. Foundation school classes hold every Saturday online and Sundays after service on site. For more information, kindly visit the PFC stand. Water baptism holds every Sunday after service. And to register for water baptism, please visit the PFC stand at the close of service. Thank you once again, Pastor, for this opportunity. And do enjoy the rest of the service. Thank you. By him, by Jesus, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God. Continue that, that is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks, thanks to his name. As God's people, our primary purpose for being is to offer praise unto the Lord our God. In the New Testament, he calls us to offer spiritual sacrifices, to offer sacrifices of praise. He tells us that to praise God is to bless him. To praise God is to thank you. It's another sublime opportunity to offer the calves of our lips as sacrifices of praise and worship to the Lord Most High at this special praise night with Pastor Chris. 14th of April is a praise night, special praise night. It's going to be wonderful. It will be live on Alpha TV, Love World Networks, Life TV mobile app, Cflix app, and social media platforms. It's been a most inspiring, enlightening, and immersive journey with the Word. As a man of God, Pastor Chris, by God's Spirit, unraveled the wholesome mysteries and secrets inscribed in the pages of the riveting book of the Revelation. On your Love World special, Season 9, Phase 1 and 2. And showed me that great city, the Holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. He says, and I saw heaven opened, and behold a white horse, and four great beasts came up from the sea. And the 24 elders who sat before God on their thrones fell on their faces and worshipped God. And now join Pastor Chris on your Love World special, Season 9, Phase 3, as he takes the body of Christ into untapped realms of divine insights by the Spirit of God, as he also delivers a first-hand knowledge of ongoing events in our world, in line with the Father's prophetic calendar. We know the truth of the hour. We know the truth of the times. We know what the world is supposed to be like today. 
What should it be like? What kind of a life should we be living in the world today? And because we know, we make it so. Don't miss your Love World special season nine, phase three, happening from Wednesday, April the 17th to Friday, April the 19th, 7 p.m. GMT plus one daily. It will be broadcast live on all Love World networks, the Live TV mobile app, Seaflix mobile app, Alpha TV, C Love World, designated ministry websites and various social media platforms. Don't miss it. Praise the Lord. I bring greetings to all of you in Christ Embassy, Southern Africa, Zone 2. Very special greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Reverend Tom Amekina, the Director for World Evangelism Mobilization in our great ministry. First of all, I want to thank our Father, the President of the Love World, my pastor, life coach, teacher, Reverend Dr. Chris Viakilome, DSC, DSC, DD, for this very special, unique mandate for World Evangelism Mobilization. Pastor, thank you for your investment in my life all these years and for helping me to fulfill my calling and my place in Christ. I love you dearly and I appreciate you. I want to specially recognize and thank the highly esteemed Pastor Lawrence Ajiboye, your dynamic zonal pastor for Christ Embassy Southern Africa, Zone 2. Now I'm coming your way to bring you exciting news that the World Evangelism Mobilization Train comes to Christ Embassy Southern Africa Zone 2. And we will be with you from the 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th of the month of April 2024 in this a year of redemption. Yes, it's a very special time for you because the World Evangelism Mobilization comes to you. This is a very unique program designed by the Spirit of God as the man of God communicated at this time, this special time of the church age, these last days that we're in, for us to focus on God's number one job, and that is soul winning and evangelism. The man of God said, every church is soul winning church. Every member is soul winner. Every soul, every saint is soul winner. And that is what we have seen, where we have been. It brings you promotion and it helps to position you where you should be as a fellow laborer together with God, fulfilling God's divine mandates and the great commission by the time we're through with this program in Christ Embassy Southern Africa Zone 2, you, the individual member, will be promoted. Now, the, the Bible says in Mark chapter number 16 and verse 15, it, say, it said, Go ye, the Master himself said, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth, and is baptized shall be saved. And he that believeth not shall be damned. But he told us to go into all the world and preach the gospel, the good news. This is the great commission. The master has commissioned us. And it is something we must do. Yes, we've been winning souls here and there, but not at the scale at which God wants us to do it. Because we are the light of the world. We're the ones that God has entrusted with the message of Christ for salvation, to bring salvation to the rest of the world. And we will do it. And so there are people in your world of contact that you are going to specially reach this time because this is the appointed time. So from this time, you're going to write down the names of people in your world of contact. At least five. It will be at least five per person. Now, I'm very specific, not five per cell, not five per outreach fellowship. You as an individual, you are influential. 
you realize that you have more than five people in your world of contact. You're going to write down their names. At least five, I said. Some of you have 50. Some of you have more. You write down their names and you are going to start to pray for them. We're talking about those who have not been saved or those who have not been going to church. There are people who have been saved. Some stopped going to church. You know, the devil gives a lot of people different reasons or excuses not to go to church. And then you will arm yourself with copies um, of Healing to the Nations magazine and the Rhapsody of Reality's daily devotional with which you will reach these people. Each person you're reaching must have a copy of the magazine and a copy of the Rhapsody of Realities and an invitation card, a personalized, personal invitation addressed with their name. So this is not going to the street or just going to the mall to meet whoever you, you, you see on the street and say, come. We're not talking of a, a program uh, crowd. We're reaching out to people in your world. And remember now, there are five basic um, or major circles of relationship in, in today's world or in the world. And in each of these circles of relationship, you have people. Number one is biological. Everybody comes from a family. This has, has to do with your parents, your siblings, your cousins, your aunties, your uncles, nephews, Name it, everybody that comes from your family, at least those that, that are within reach. I'm not talking about if you have a cousin in the United States of America, they are not going to be able to attend this program. Is it important to preach to those ones? Yes, but I'm being specific about this program. And so you have the biological. Then you have the geographical which has to do with your location. Some of you, you live in an estate, you live in the street, you live in a community. You know, wherever you live, that geographical location, there are people you have access to. Because you live there, they know you. They recognize you, they can open their house for you. They can allow a conversation. You're not a total stranger to them. You may not even have taken time. You know, there are those of us that live in, in some areas, in an estate, we don't even know the next door neighbor, but they see you going out and coming in. But here is the time. Now is the time for their salvation, those that have not been saved. Okay? Then um, you have vocational. Those you work with, your colleagues, your subordinates, your boss, you know, or you own the business, your employees, you know, name it, where you work in that organization, in that office. There's, there's a vocational relationship. You utilize your influence there to reach out to those people. And then there are those within the circle of your uh, recreational relationship. Recreational meaning those you, you play, do sports with, you have some games with, those you have some recreational activities with. They know you. You belong to a golf club or a tennis club, you know, a sports club. They know you. But this time around, you must see them in a different way and bring to them the most important message that you have from God, and that's the message of salvation. And the last one is the social relationship. So much talk about social media. You have those that you have this social relationship with on social media. Um, they, they know you, you know them, you can reach them, like I said, within uh, South Africa, those that you know you, we want to see in church on Sunday. You begin to pray for them and then you reach them with an invitation card, with Rhapsody of Realities and with Healing to the Nations magazine. Okay? This is the way it should be. The list number is five. You everyone to be in church on the Sunday extra and then come the big day. On the Sunday extra, everybody will be in their locations. You will be in your church. No, no coming together because there will be no space. There's no need to come together at the zonal headquarters. You will be in your church. The people that you win with all this strategy, you will take them to your church on Sunday. Okay? Some of you are going to come. I know you're going to come 
with bus loads of people. And these are people that can be followed up after the program. Not people you don't know where they're coming from. That's why I told you where you will find them. This will be the first time some of you are going to be involved in this. And until you do it, you will know what excitement and joy and fulfillment you will have. Okay? So the Sunday Extra, we are going to have a glorious service on Sunday. There will be massive salvation of souls. Those you, you couldn't lead to Christ, but that you invited, will definitely be born again. And then we'll be, there'll be massive baptism. We're going to baptize them in water by immersion. And then we're going to have um, many filled with the Holy Spirit. We're going to have miracles, miracles. We're going to have miracles upon miracles. It is the time of visitation for Christ Embassy, Southern Africa, Zone 2. And so I'm excited about it. You get excited about it and plan for it, we'll be with you, and when we are through, you will be ready to share your testimonies, and you'll be operating at another level of ministry. Praise God. Hallelujah. Once again, I want to thank our dear man of God, Pastor Chris, for this exciting mandate, and I want to thank your highly esteemed Zonal Pastor, Pastor Lawrence Ajiboye, who has been a very, very wonderful minister of the gospel, a senior minister in this ministry, and we have worked together on many fronts. So I'm looking forward to being with you. In the meantime, I want us to, I want you to lift up your hands where you are and let us pray for the program, concerning the program. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you. Paradisto faso pataligadishte. Sora canta pata ligaro stefe caro salabante kida hasta. Mashukle frole go pratike faro sata pata legira sande. Shor di cafanto palagora shakte barica tila bahaya. Mashuk te fredi kitola mante kia. Thank you, Lord God, for the World Evangelism Mobilization Program in Christ Embassy Southern Africa Zone 2. A time of promotion. Thank you for the supply of grace. Bari gosto fra shata la mante kiro sobatia. Thank you, Lord God. Bari gando vre sombre lika fande. For many that are going to be drawn into the kingdom. Yes, by your spirit. Yes, through this program. And they will remain in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Every barrier is broken. The obstacles that have been on their way to salvation is removed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for the salvation. Thank you, Lord, for the miracles. Thank you, Lord God, for the positioning of the saints. At the center of your will, at this time of the church age, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, we give you praise and glory, and this program will bring praise and glory to your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. So looking forward to being with you. In the meantime, get on the job. Uh, good evening, saints. It's time for our Rhapsody reading this evening. Let me start by thanking Pastor for this privilege and opportunity to read Rhapsody this evening. Thank you so much. Do you all have our copies? It's only 30 rands, so please, if you need a copy, kindly raise your hand. Ashas are here, ready. Ashas, there's a hand there in front. Is anybody coming to this church for the first time today? Any guests in our midst? There's nobody. Okay. So today is Wednesday, the 10th of April. Pastor sharing with us a message titled, Constantly Energized. The scripture is, is taken from 
Jude chapter 1, verse 20, AMPC, says, But you, beloved, build yourself up, founded on your most holy faith. Make progress. Rise like an edifice, higher and higher, praying in the Holy Spirit. Pastor, start by saying what the Bible says in Isaiah 40, verse 31, needs to be properly understood. It says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Some have read this and ran off with the notion that to be constantly energized, strengthened, or, vigorate, or invigorated spiritually, you have to wait on the Lord. In other words, fast for a protracted, for a protracted period. Well, fasting is an important spiritual exercise, but someone can fast for 40 days and 40 nights and still not have their strength renewed. In the New Testament, the Lord provides us a sure and effective means to be constantly rejuvenated and invigorated spiritually, that is, being filled with the Spirit. Ephesians 5, 18 to 20 says, And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the answer. Stay perpetually filled with the Spirit, studying and speaking the word and praying in tongues. When you do this, you are constantly energized. Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians 14.4, that he that speaketh in a known tongue edifieth himself. In other words, when you speak in tongues, you are invigorated, revitalized, refreshed, energized, and edified. There's a transformation in your life, and your spirit is conditioned for success, excellence, prosperity, and victory. Say amen. Hallelujah. When you speak in tongues a lot, the words of Jesus in John 7, 38 become your everyday reality. When you speak in tongues a lot, the words of Jesus in John 7, 38 becomes your everyday reality. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. What a blessing it is to be able to build up yourself like an edifice, formidable and able to withstand anything and win always as you pray in tongues. Say amen. Let's kindly stand on our feet right now as we take this confession. I am invigorated, vitalized, refreshed, energized, and edified even now by the Spirit as I speak in tongues. My inner man is built up strong and I constantly walk in dominion over all adversities and the adversary. Out of my belly flow gushes of living waters, words of salvation, healing, power, and strength in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, thank you, sir, for this opportunity.
gratitude to him. Lift up your hands and tell him that you are grateful. Tell him that you are grateful for his word, his grace, his kindness, his compassion, his kindness towards you. That you are grateful. Thank him and honor him. Magnify him. Give him praise. Exalt his name. But there is none that like him is worthy to be praised, worthy to be appreciated for all that he means to us. Thank him and honor him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you and honor you. Thank you for our gathering tonight because you are there in the midst of us by the Holy Spirit. Thank you for your kindness unceasing grace that you bestowed upon our lives. We honor you and we magnify you. Thank you for everyone participating in this service tonight. That you meet every need and fulfill all desires. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, choir. Thank you very much. You, okay, tonight we're going to spend some time to pray. I'm going to pray for, concerning our program with the highly esteemed Reverend Tom. I'm not sure what your understanding is as to what this means. For me, it means a lot. It means a lot, and I am convinced beyond reasonable doubt that it's a special time of visitation. Praise the Lord. And so, I don't want us to miss it. I don't want us to miss it. I want us to, to pray concerning the success of that program. The impact of your event was here with us yesterday. And uh, he said some very, very punchy things that we all need to sit down or sit back and meditate on and let those things get into your spirit. Tomorrow, he will be here. He'll be here on Friday as well. Our brethren from our other churches will be here as well. And then Sunday is the Sunday extra. Hallelujah. There are people that will only come into the kingdom because of this program. If this program does not hold, they will never stand a chance of coming into the kingdom. That means they will perish. But God has proposed it for us to have this program. And so we must do all that we can and resist the activities of the evil one to prevent those whom God has ordained to be blessed at this program. Because he will always try his best to prevent people from hearing the gospel. Hallelujah. So we are going to pray. We will spend some time in prayer. And uh, after we round up the service, we would have another special time of prayer, but that one is we, as a ministry worldwide, we are having 30 days of prayer chain that starts, or it started two days ago. So this is the third day. And the reason for that has to do with the plan of those who are vociferously against the gospel and they are looking for every possible means to stifle the gospel to 
get people to begin to doubt what ministers they respect and believe in say by casting aspersion on, on their message. Praise the Lord. And I believe that uh, as time progresses, Pastor will be sharing more with us on that. But no matter what happens, we are ready, we are battle ready. Do you understand? We are hardened for battle in our heart. There is no power in this world that can intimidate us. Pastor has prepared us for a time such as this. And so we're going to fight and we know we are going to win. Hallelujah. So in Mark chapter 2, verse, reading from verse 1, the Bible says, And again he entered into Capernaum after some days, and it was noised that he was in the house, and straightway many were gathered together, insomuch that there was no room to receive them. No, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them, and they come unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, not that for the multitude, they uncovered the roof where he was, and when they had broken it up, they laid down the bed wherein the sick or the palsy lay. Glory to God. So we are going to pray that as we continue between now and that Sunday, especially on Saturday, to reach out to people for this program. Everyone that we contact, we come, they'll come in a mass. We want to declare also that those we have already spoken to and those that we will be reaching out to will by themselves reach out to their loved ones and come with them to the program. Pray that the outcomes of our efforts will result in complete overflow of people in our churches this Sunday. Glory to God. Let us pray. Oh, Karabashanta, Libakonte, Libruba Sonda, Labakonda, Rale Gabazaki, Lakadoske, Libradiga Bazonda, Gabazaki, Leke Bosco, Libradiga Basanta, Labakonte, Libradiga Bazonda, Gabazaki, Leke Bosca, Libarabaconta, Libazonte, Libaconta, Libarabazonda, Gabazaki, Leke Bosca, Libaconta, Libarabazonde, Gabashanda, Rabaconte, Libazonde, Libaconta, Rabazanda, Rakata, Kalige Bozonde, Gabazaki, Lakaboske, Liba. Conta libera bazonte liba conta libera bazonda kabazaki la kaboske libero basonda la kita gradiga la krodige bazanda kabazaki le keboska libera diga bazanta la bakonte le bazonde le bakonda malega bazaki le keboska libera diga bazanta libera bakonta libera bazonda balega bazaki le kedosko libero diga bazanta barida sa gradi la kedoske le koso koliga bashapta libero bakonta le bazanda kabazanta le Bradi Saro Galigera Gadaska Libara Bazonte Kabazaki Leke Bosca Libara Bazonta Barriga Sakla Kamanto Libazonde Kabazanta Libra Digara Kaduske Libra Gadiga Bazanta Libaconda Kabazaki Leke Bosca Libra Diga Baracabonta Libazonda Kabazanta Rabaconde Libazonte Libra Diga Bazanta Libara Bazonda Kabazaki Leke Bosso Libasali Basili Bazonda Kabazaki Leke Bosca Libara Bazonta Libaconte Libra Bazonda Maleka Bazaki Laka Bosca Libro Bazonda Kabazaki Leke Diga Baraka Diga Bazonto Libra Conta Libra Bazonta Libra Zanda Bazanta Libro Baconta Libazente Libra Diga Bazanda Kabazaki Leke Disca Ligra Diga Radosca Diga Baraka Diga Baracabonda Tarabazonte Libra Diga Baracabonta Libazonde Kabashanda Rabaconta Labazande Libaconda Rakata Galige Bozoki Leke Diga Bazanda 
Kabazaki ne ke boska le bradi kabazonda le bradi kabazonda Kabazaki ne ke boska le bakonda le barabazonda le bakonda Raka barige boraka diske le kabazonda le bula bakonda Kabazanta le bradi zali goloka diske le kabazanda Kabazanta le bradi kabakonda le bazonda le bradi kabazanda Kabazaki ne ke boso lo bazanda le bradi ke boraka bonda Kabazaki ne ke le kabaraka doska le bazanda Kabazanta la bakonda le bazonda le bazonda le braza la kere kaboska le bazonda le bradika bazonda kabazaki la kabaska le bradika bazonda lenga bazanda kabazaki le keboska le bradika bazonda le bakonda la bazonda kabazaki le keboska le bakonda le bara bazonda bara bazanda la bakonda le bazanda le bakonda kaliga zagradi la kadoska balega bazaki le keboska le bakonda le bara bazonda kabazaki le keboska le bradika bazanda le bara bakonda kabazaki la kaboska Li bradi ka bazon te li bakonta li bara bazon dam ka bazaki la ka boske li bradi ka bazon ta li bakonta li bara bazon dam ka bazaki la ka boske li bradi ka bazon ta li bradi ka bakonda ka bazaki la ka boske li bradi ka bazon dam ta la bakonta li bazon te li bakonta la bazanda la bakonta li bazon dam ka bazaki le ke diske li bradi ka bazon dam kro bakonta li bara bazon de li gadi ka bazab ka li bradi ke bazon de mele ka bazaki la ka boske li bradi ka bazon Maleka bazanta le bradiga bakonte le bazonda kabazaki le ke boska le bradiga baraka bonta le bazonda kabazaki le ke boska le bradiga bazonta le bara bakonda kabazaki le ke boska le bradiga bazonta le bara bakonta le bazanda zarish talagados ke le bragadas ka le ka ba zon vragadis ke le ka ba zarigados ke le ba zon te le bradiga ba shapta la makonda yes lord man tara bazonda kabazaki le ke boska le bradiga bazanda everyone who's been contacted everyone who's been spoken to everyone who has been invited everyone that the lord will lead us to between now and sunday they will come in mass for this program in the name of jesus and not just by themselves yeah they are coming with their friends they are inviting their loved ones to come along with them in the name of jesus they are not coming alone they are not coming alone in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ malika bazon tele bradiga barakadiski reko to gredia barroko to kolige bozonda malakata galiga bradige bozon tele brazanda kabazaki leke boska and as we do this yes lord the outcome our effort is that there shall be outflowing of people Yes, Lord, people are they are coming here. Complete overflow of people into our churches, into our churches, into this church on Sunday. In the name of Jesus, this Sunday, this Sunday, they are coming from everywhere. They are coming from everywhere. They are coming. They are coming from everywhere to have an encounter with the de- with destiny. To have an encounter with the grace of Christ to have an encounter with the grace of God you have an encounter with destiny in the name of Jesus Liga Mazanta la barige bozondo oh hallelujah glory to God glory to God so shall it be in Luke chapter 4 verse 18 and 19 says the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he had sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. So we're going to pray in tongues of the Spirit and declare that as people attend the Harvesters Congress with the highly esteemed Reverend Tom, they will experience solutions to the issues and challenges of their lives. Pray that there shall be an avalanche of salvation, deliverance, and complete transformation in every area of their lives, wherever they require a miracle, wherever they require a divine intervention, it shall come to them by the power of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Let us pray. 
Lika brados kolika santa le burodika bazaptara raka mazaki le kaboska bradika bazonde meleka bazaki la kabosko le burodada raga balike borokodoske lika baraka dika bazanda kabazanta le bradika bakonte le bazonda kabazaki le kaboska le bakonta le bara bazonda kabazaki le kaboska le bradika bazonta le bara bakonda kabazanta la bakonte le bazonde le bakonta la bazonda kabazaki le kabos Calibra de Gabazonta, Libra de Gabuzonde, Mele Cabazaki, La Cabos, Caliba Conda, Cabazaki, Le Cabos, Calibra Bazonte, Liba Conda, Abashaliba Rabaconta, La Barabazonda, Cabazaki, Le Cabos, Calibra de Gabazonte, Libra Conda, Cabazaki, La Cabonta, La Bazonte, Libra Gaga Bazanda, Cabazaki, Le Cabos, Calibra Gabosca, Barriqueta, Gradi La Gamanta, Liba Zonde, Cabazaki, Le Cabos, Calibra de Gabazonta, Libra de Gabaconda. Abazaki la cabosca le bariga bazonta le barabaconda Abazaki le cabosca le barabazonta le barabaconda Raka bazaki le cabosca le bradiga bazonda Maleka bazanta le baliba conta le barabazonda Abazaki le cabosca le bradiga bazonda Abazaki le cabosca le bradiga bazonta le bradiga baracabonde Meleka bazaki le cabosca le bacariga bazonda Abazanta le baconte le burabazonda Ragaba Recoto colleague burragadiga baracadasca La barracadiga burrocodosca le barabazanda Abazaki le bradiga baracadiske liga bazanda Abazaki le cabosca le bragaba Libra Gabasaki, the Cariga Baracadosca, Liga Baracadiski, Liga Regadosca, Libra Bazanta, Libro Baconda, Abazanta, Libra Baconte, Liba Zondi, Meleka Bazaki, Lake Diga Ragabasca, Libra Bazondi, Mento Libro Diga Bazonta, Libra Baconta, Liba Zonda, Cabazanta, Rabaconte, Liba Zonda, Rabaconta, La Bazanda, Malega Bazaki, Lake Bosca, Liba Zonta, Libra Baconda, Raga Baracadiski, Ligo Rogadasca, Libra Baconte, Libro Bazondi, Meleka Bazanta, Zanta libra diga bazonda, bakata kalinda, liga roga dance, liga bazonda, libra diga bazonda, mantolo bazonda, rabakonda, raba shaki leke diske, liga raga da, liga raga diske, liga baraka dom, raga balike bo raga diske, liga baraka dia, lama kata kalige bazonda lo bazabda, jale bra diske, liba raga da, lari godo godoske, libo roba zika, liba raga dige balaka da, laga raga diske, liga bazonda, liba raga di, liba raga da, liba Rugodosco, Libra Bazanda, Mantara Baconte, Libro Bazonta, Libra Baconda, Raga Bazaki, Leke Bosca, Libra Gabonda. Maleka bazanta la baconte le bradika bazonda raga bazanta le braga bonte le bazonde mento lo bazonta le bradika bazabda yalega bazanta le bara baconta le bara bazonde mento zondo le bradika bazanda raba shanta le greka diske le goroka daska le bara gadoske le borobukondo ronga bazanta le makinte le baladia lagoske le gebola gadiske le bara gadia la gabonda maleke bola gadiske le gela gada rakoto kologodo Liga regada, rama kata garaba, liga barakada, le rogodo, le ragada, la ragada, la karakado, la karakada, la karakada, la karakado, la karakada, la karakada, la karakadi ga barakada, la karakado, lo garaga basaki la karakada, la baraga basaki le borogodo, le regada, la baraga diske le gaboska, biramanta le bazamta le baraga donske, le gebe la kabanto le bazonte le bradi ga bazanda, maraga bazanta le bradi ge bazonde, mento lo bazonde. Yes, Lord, everyone that comes shall receive. Everyone that has a need, their needs will be met. In the name of our Lord Jesus, that for them this program shall be a reference point. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, avalanche of salvation, deliverance, and complete transformation. Yes, Lord, for everyone, everyone that comes and expecting something. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God, so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. In Luke chapter 10, verse 49, the Bible says, And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. Hallelujah. Commanded him to be called. And they called him the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rise, he called thee. And he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus and Jesus answered and said unto him what without that I should do unto thee 
the blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. He followed Jesus. In Colossians chapter 1, from verse 3, it says, We give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of your love for all the saints because of the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, of which you heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel, which has come to you as it has also, as it has also in all the world and is bringing forth fruit as it is also among you since the day you heard and knew the grace of God in truth. Oh, hallelujah. Since the day they knew the grace of God. So we are going to pray that every soul that shall be impacted, that shall be impacted, that shall be saved, healed and delivered, etc. at this program, they will stay with us in our different churches to serve with us. Declare that they will not go back to their old lifestyle. They will stay and grow in our midst. Glory to God. They will be our trophies. Our trophy, the trophies of this program. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Malokata gragabaska liga sonto libro diga bakanda maleka dusko liga basaki leke diska libra diga bazonda kabazoki leke diska libra gados kale bazanta libra la bazonda kabazaki leke bos kale libra diga bazonda kabazaki leke dos kale libra gados kale libra gadis kale libra gados kabazanta libra diga barakados kale liga bazonta libra la bazonda kabazanta la bakonte le bazonda la bakonte le bazonda kabazaki la kabos kale bakon Libra Bazonta, Libra Conda, Abazaki, like a Bosca, Libra Diga Bazonta, Libra Diga Bazonda, Gadiske Liga Bazaki, like a Bosca, Libra Diga Bazonda, Abazanta, Abaconte, Lebazonda, Abaconte, Lebazonda, Abazaki, like a Bosca, Libra Diga Bazonta, Libra Abaconda, Abazaki, like a Bosca, Libra Diga Bazonta, Libazonta, Libazonda, Abazaki, like a Bosca, Libra Abaconta, Libra Bazonta, Libaconda, Abazaki, like a Bosca, Libra Diga Bazanta, Libra Diga Baconda. Maleka Bazanta, Libra Baconta, Libra Bazonda, Abazaki like a Bosca, Libra Bazonta, Libra Conta, Libra Bazonda, Abazaki like a Dosca, Libra Diga Bazonta, Libra Diga Bazanda, Abazaki like a Bosca, Libra Conta, Libra Bazonda, Abazaki like a Bosca, Libra Conta, Libra Bazonta, Libro Baconda, Abazaki like a Bosca, Libra Diga Bazonta, Libra Diga Bazonda, Abazanta, Abazonta, Libra Bazonta, Libra Bazonta, Libra Conda, Abazaki like a Bosca, Libra Bazonta, Zonta leba conta leba la bazonta leba conda la bazanda la baconta leba zonda leba conta la bazanda la bazaki leke bosca lebra diga bazonta leba la baconda bashanta leba la bazonta leba la baconta la bazaki leke bosca leba conta leba la bazonde raga bazaki leke dias kaliba la bazanda la bazaki le brodika barakadis kaliga bazanda la bashta liga barakadiga bazanta leba la baconta leba zende leke bozoki la kabosca leba la Bakonda, Kabazaki leke boska le bakonta le bara bazonde, Kabazanta la bakonte le bazonde le bakonta la bazanda, Kabashaki le brodika bara kadika bazanta le bara bakonda, Barega tagradi na gadosko le bazonta la makonda, Malega sike ligre gadaska, Barego do gadosko liga ragadike le gadaska, Raga bala kadiske le boro bazonda, Mantoro bakonta le bara bazanta le bara bakonda, Yes Lord, Yes Lord, Yes Lord, by the power of your spirit. Everyone that shall be saved, yes, Lord, at this program, every soul that shall be impacted, healed, and delivered, and Lord, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, yes, Kondariba Zapta, they will not go back to their old lifestyle, they will find this place a place of rest, a place of rest, a place of peace, a place where the love of Christ is tangible. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lego Sacra Command Zonda, as many of them as shall be impacted. Yes, Lord, they will not go back. They will stay with us, they will grow with us, they will join us in serving the Lord in our kingdom, in extending the reach 
of the power of the gospel. Yes, Lord, even to their own words in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Maligra Gabosco Liga Bazanda, Rakata Grodie, Le Rostoli Bazabda, Maliga Bazanta, Le Bradiga Bazonde, Ragoske, as we as they come. Yes, Lord, they will stay with us. 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 They are they are our addition. They are our multiplication in the mighty name of Jesus. Malakata gradige, neko sokrodi paradiga bazapta ya, mele karodos ke libra diga makandrobu, roga bazike ligre gada, rakoto grodiga ba raketo grodo, libra gadiga bazonte libra goske, legra gadiske bazapta libro gada, rabalike regedosko, libra gadike belagabaska liga bazanda rabakonde, rako sonto libra diga bazapta ya, malega brozonto libra diga bazapta ra, raga bazapta libro gede, legra gadaska. They will find the love of Christ in our midst. They will find the peace, the peace of Christ in our midst. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, they will experience the joy of salvation in our midst and choose to be here with us in all our churches in the name of Jesus Christ. That they shall not slip away. They shall not slip away from us in the mighty name of Jesus. Malega Santo Libra Diga Bakonda, Rakata Gradige Bozonde, Malokata Graba, Leboroko. To ligre gada liga bazafto ya malega bazafta ligre liga doska liga bazanda in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh hallelujah, glory to God. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. In um, Matthew chapter fourteen, verse um, thirty six says, and besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment and as many as touched were made perfectly whole hallelujah maybe I should read from verse 34 and when they were gone over they came into the land of Genesaret and when the men of that place had knowledge of him they sent out into all that country round about and brought unto him all that were diseased and besought him that they might only touch the aim of his garments. And as many as touched were made perfectly whole. Oh, hallelujah. As many as were touched. They were the ones who sought to touch the aim of his garment. And then in Mark chapter 6 verse 56 says, Wherever he entered, into villages, cities, or the country, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might just touch the hem of his garment. And as many as touched him were made whole. Hallelujah. In um, Luke chapter 5, verse 17, and, verse, and it came to pass when he was in a certain city, Behold, a man full of leprosy who, sorry, chapter 17. And it came to pass on a certain day as he was touching that there were Pharisees, as he was teaching, there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present to heal. So we are going to pray that at each of the sessions with the highly esteemed Reverend Tom, there shall be abundant supply of the power of the Holy Ghost to minister to the delegates. And then we will also declare that the power of the Holy Ghost shall be ably demonstrated at each meeting. Pray also that everyone in attendance will come with thirst with so much hunger and thirst to receive all that is available for them. There's hunger, like those people we just read, to say, can we just touch the hem of your garment? They were so hungry. They were so thirsty for them to be impacted by the Lord. They, 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 they reach out their faith that I didn't have to speak to them just by touching the hem of his garment. They will receive. They will be blessed. That's the hunger. That's the dis the desire to receive. So we are going to declare there will be desire to receive. It's not enough that there is power 
to, to, to bless, there must be the desire to receive that power. To suck the power from the man of God. Everyone that comes, they are coming with hunger and thirst to be blessed. Let us pray. Oh, Karabashanta Ligos Kelibari Gadunda, La Kosoko Toko Libradia, La Rakata Kaliga Bazonte Libro Gadega Bazabda, Yalega Bazaki Le Koriga Bazanta Libro Baconda, Maleko Bazaki Le Bradiga Bazanda Rabaconde, Rekete Kelige Bozonta, Barriga Diga Barakadiska, Likoro Kabaska, Libradiga Bazonta, Libaconda, Kabazaki Le Kebosca, Libradiga Bazonta, Libradiga Bazonde, Melega Bazaki Le Kedoska, Ligaba Zanda Rabak. Conte le bazon de le baconta la bazanda, lega bazaki le kebosca, libra diga bazonde, melega, zaki la caduske, libra gada, rago to goriga bazata, libra ga bazanda, malega bazaki le kebosca, libra, raba la bazonte, libra diga bazanda. maleka bazaki le kebosca, libra, raga bazaki le kebo, zonta. Liga Barakadiske, Liga Bazanda, Cabazonte, Libra de Cabazonto, Lobaconta, Libra Bazanda, Cabazaki de Cabonta, Libra de Cabazon de Libaconda, Malega Bazaki de Cabosca, Libaconda, Raka Baragadiske, Libro Bazonde, Mento, Libro Gabasca, Libra Gadia, Liga Ragadia, Liga Ragabosca, Libra Bazanda, Cabazanta, Libro Baconta, Libra Bazonte, Raga Bazaki de Camando, Monta, Libra Bazonte, Liba Conte, Libro Bazonda, Raba Shaki. Like a disc, Brazanda. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There shall be the abundant supply of the power of the Spirit to meet every need, to answer every question, to to dissolve, to dissolve doubt and unbelief in the heart of people in the mighty name of Jesus to soften the hardened heart the hardened heart that they may receive the gospel in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ the power of the spirit shall be mightily present and the supply in abundance yes in the mighty name of Jesus and everyone in attendance yes at each session of these meetings Lord their needs to be met hunger and thirst in their heart to receive, to receive in the name of Jesus. It shall be so strong that it will pull those things, pull the blessings. Yes, Lord, from the man of God, in the name of our Lord Jesus. Malika, Sokre, Diga, Barakadiska, Lega, Bazanta, and as a result, there shall be great miracles, great miracles, salvation, deliverance, transformation in, in marriages, in every area of their lives. Yes, in the name of Jesus Christ, everyone in attendance, as they hunger and thirst for the righteousness of the word Lord they will not be left empty they shall receive their expectation in the name of Jesus oh glory to God so shall it be so shall it be people are coming in the name of Jesus they are coming by the power of the Holy Ghost on Thursday and on Friday our brethren they will be coming. They will be there in record numbers. Our pastors, our leaders, everyone will be there in record numbers. Even those who have been most inconsistent attending services, they will make it by the power of God's Spirit. And as they come, they will be greatly impacted. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give you praise. We magnify you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We honor you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You may be seated. I just want to share one or two scriptures with you. But remember that this program, everybody is expected to bring people. You heard Reverend yesterday. You heard him very, very clearly. And let's make it a glorious time. Hallelujah. It's very, very important. The, the battle is, is, is on. And it's an unceasing one. So we fit into it by making sure that we snap people away, snatch them away from, from the jaws of the pile of darkness. We bring them into the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now let me share some few thoughts with you. Judges chapter 6. Can we read from verse 11? You know, sometimes... You know, as a matter of fact, it, it, it's very important how we see ourselves. How you see yourself is very, very important. Somebody can be born again and still be full of fear. 
even when he or she is speaking in tongues, you can still be full of fear, full of doubt. You can still uh, think that some things are, are missing in your life, yet you are born again. God knows that. That's why he tells us, give us his word to wash us, to cleanse us of every impediment that is inconsistent with his blessing in our lives. The word of God is what God has given to us to cleanse us, not because you are physically dirty. I want to change your spirit to think the way he thinks, to see things the way he sees things. So when he tells you that you can do all things through Christ which strengthens you, that's the truth. It's a mantra that you have to repeat to yourself again and again and again and again. When you feel as though things are not moving or things are difficult, he has given you, he has given you the, the incantation to say, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. I'm strengthened. There's nothing I can do. Because there are things that God has assigned for you to do. You must not fail at it. You must accomplish it. Whether your personal life, whether it has to do with your family, or with the country where you live, whether it has to do with the gospel, you must not fail at it. You must accomplish it. Praise God. But how we see ourselves is very important. You know, the Bible says, if any, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. That all things are passed away. And then he said, look, all things are what? Become new. But many a time, things don't look that way. They may appear to not look that way, to be, you know, even more difficult. But then, you hold on to the word. What has the scripture said about you? You hold on to that. So, you are fighting. You are fighting against the flesh. You are fighting against the, the suggestion of the enemy to want to control you through words. Words are important. Words are important. Praise the Lord. It's so important. So the word of God, must, you, must, you must be conscious of it at all times. You speak the word to yourself. In season and out of season, you speak the word to yourself. You let the word dominate you and frame your thoughts all the time. A Christian must not talk of problems. A Christian must not center his mind on problems. The problem is, the problem is, the problem is, the problem is, you are a solution provider. You are called to be, to, to profess solution to whatever seems difficult. So he tells you that you can do all things. The Bible says, God said to, 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 to Joshua, no man shall be able to stand up against you as long as you live. He said, because I will be with you and I will not leave you, I will not forsake you. Just the way I was with Moses until the very end, I will be with you. But then if Joshua didn't think so, if Joshua said, I'm, I'm not Moses. I'm not Moses. Joshua will not be able to do what he, what, what, what he did. Glory to God. So he held on to the word of God. And when he was rounding up his ministry, he called the leaders of Israel. He said, everything God said, none of them has fallen to the ground. He said, God did not fail in anything. He fulfilled it, his word. Hallelujah. Are you still there? Okay, let's read that Joshua. Judges chapter 11. So chapter 6 verse 11. And there came an angel of the Lord and sat under an oak which was in Ophrah that pertained unto Joash the Abia's right and his son Gideon threshed what threshed with by the wine press to, to hide it from the Midianite. Can you see? The Midianites were destroying them. And not small destruction. They were destroying their everything. They would come with their flock. So he was hiding what he had from these marauders. From destroying it. Look at it. So next one. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. A man that is hiding from the enemy. But that's how God saw him. He didn't see himself as a mighty man of valor. So the, the God said to him, you are a mighty man of valor. Next one. 
And Gideon said unto him, Oh my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befalling us? And where be all his miracles, which our fathers told us of, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord hath forsaken us and delivered us into the hand of the Midianites. And the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this thy might, and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianite. Have I not sent thee? And he said unto him, O my Lord, where shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. Can you see that? He is looking at his experience. He said, in Manasseh, Manasseh is the, one of the, the, the second tribe of uh, Joseph. Praise God. He said, my family is poor in that tribe. And in my, in my family, I'm the least. But God said he's a mighty man of valor. So what's the difference? His experience, his experience was affecting him. He didn't see himself as a strong person. So when somebody has gone through so much difficulty, challenges, they begin to see themselves in that light. But we are God's children. You have to see yourself in the light of the word of God. And that's why we cannot overemphasize speaking the word of God. Because God has, he has shown who you are in his word. That's what you need to be looking at. And I believe if Gideon had been properly taught, if he had been studying the law of Moses, he would have realized where things went wrong. It was judgment they were going through. Not because God has forsaken them. They were going through because he told them, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you go and worship other gods, the gods of the people around you, then I will abandon you. And then they would, your enemies will have the upper hand. So what they were going through was judgment. And all they needed to do was to correct their ways. And everything would be alright. Sometimes also in our lives, you must examine yourself. The Bible says, examine yourself. If ye still be in the Lord, examine your, in the faith. Do you not know yourself? Can you imagine that? He's asking you. He examine yourself if you are still in the faith. Do you not know yourself? Praise God. First of all, you must, you must walk in the consciousness of his grace in your life. And also, have regard for the blessing that he has brought into your life. The life that he has brought you into. And not live a life of debauchery. Stop loving, loving earthly life. Fleshly life. Stop loving it. Love the Lord. Stay in his path. So that the enemy will have no, nothing against you. Hallelujah. And that's not going to happen overnight. To happen as you study the word of God. If you go to 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9. I think I should round up now. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. Oh, hallelujah. First Peter. Look at what God says of us. First Peter 2 verse 9. But ye are a chosen what? Generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should shew forth the praises of him who had called you out of what? Darkness into his marvelous what? Into his marvelous light. That's who you are. How many times does your mind go to that scripture? Go to James chapter 1 verse 18. James chapter 1 verse 18. It says, James, I didn't say Samuel. James, Samuel and James don't sound alike. James chapter 1 verse 18. Yeah. Of his own will begat he us with the word of truth. That we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. The first and the best. See, I'm the best of God. That's who you are. You are the best of God. That's what he has made you to be. That's where your, this, your mind should center on that all the time. Train your mind to stop centering on problems. On difficulties. Not because you are denying them. But you are not going to let them control you. Because when your mind centers on them, anxiety comes. Fear comes. You start fretting. You must stop all of that. That's why every day you take a dose of the word. Listen to pastor. Study your rhapsody. You understand? All of these things. It will help you 
to build yourself strong and become steadfast in the faith. You are a champion. That's who God has made you to be. The Bible says, behold the, the, the manner of love that the Father had bestowed on us, that we should be called the sons of God. How many times do you remind yourself, I'm a child of God. I am born of God. I'm not born of the devil. I'm born of God. Therefore, the worldly challenges will not control me. I'm born with the spirit of dominion. I live in an environment of indomit indomitable, indomitable environment. That's where I live. It doesn't matter what winds are coming your way. It doesn't matter what storms are coming your way. It doesn't matter what, 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 whatever is raging. You just know you will remain steadfast. You will remain constant. When all of those things subside, you are still standing. Because you are standing on the rock of ages, which is Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Are you still there? I mean, you read Rhapsody yesterday. That's what Pastor was talking about. Jesus is the rock. The rock that cannot be moved. Hallelujah. So deal with, deal, deal with your thinking. Deal with your thinking. Deal with how you see life. Tell yourself again and again, I'm a success. I'm doing well. I'm making progress. My life is not empty. It cannot be empty. I'm fruitful because the word of God is at work in my spirit. And then you talk it again and again and again. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Are you still there? So, you are a champion. Say this I'm a champion. Say this way, I'm a champion. I am a champion. And then, so what do champions do? They do things. Champions are not I do. Champions are not I do. Champions are not lazy. The champions don't, don't, they don't waste their time. Champions don't fight, fight that don't resort into, into a trophy. That's why they are called champions. And champions don't observe line vanities. They stand their ground. Why? Because they are champions. Things bow to champions. Champions don't bow to things. Hallelujah. Are you still there? All right. We've got to close now. Let's give our offerings. Our God is good and kind. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Say, I'm making progress. I'm moving forward. It is well with my soul. I'm the best of God. Let's pray for our offering. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We honor you. We magnify your name. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for the opportunity to bring our tithes, our seed, and our offering to you in obedience to your word. We receive, we give it by faith, and we ask God that you receive it and sanctify it by the power of God's spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.
Hallelujah. Glory to God. So tomorrow, the meeting starts at 6, 6 p.m. Make sure you come early. Remember, our brethren are coming from the different churches. So come early so that you can sit where you can eyeball to eyeball, reverend. Praise God. Yeah, you can eyeball to eyeball him and see him like this. And he is very excited to be here with us. And um, it's going to be blessing us so much. Praise the Lord. All right, let's stand up. We're going to we're going to um, share the grace now. So if you want to go leave, you can leave. But if you want to stay and pray with us, because we're going to pray for the next one hour, you can stand. You can stay with us. So, but if you want to go home, you can. Go. You are not sinning by leaving. So. Let me let me make that clear. So, I, if I leave, you are, you will not be sinning, right? You are already in church, so it just this is a praise God. Let's share the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever in Jesus name Amen God bless you so if you are going to be praying just 